live in downtown. I watch campus. Love. This is a girl, Alina. You don't know it's all about I watch campus. I, I watch. That's the fire there. Jack, you sister. Watch campus. This is a girl, bad girl. to see. I'm really dead. I watch campus. It's a girl, Nikisha Bond. Better make sure you're yeah, I watch. Panelists, my fellow candidates, you take students, knights, good afternoon. Now, the question on the lips of many of you today is, who am I? And what do I have in store if chosen as vice president? Now, let me just answer that. I am Kinson Daniel Case, former member of the St. Mary Parish Youth Council, where I was vice president former member of the St. Mary Parish Development Committee and 2013 Governor General Awardee for our community service. This is who I am. Now, last but not least, I am a student of this great institution. One who, decide, who desires to see a great student's union. A union that is visible and communicate with their students. One that will be a great union. A union that can be counted as one of the greatest in the entire country. This is what I want to see of my union. Now, having been a part of the Public Relations Committee for 2013-14, this has given me insight into what is needed to run the PR portfolio. Now, even though I have gained much experience, I will be depending on you, the students, as partners of our union, to participate in our mass meetings and box pops, as through your suggestions, we can continuously improve our union. Now, the first point in my manifesto is the continuation and strengthening of UTEC Students' Union Radio. I am sure many of you have heard of this radio. If you have not, you will know. USU was a brilliant venture introduced by our outgoing Vice President, Delta Wright. It has the potential to be one of the most marketable and profitable ventures under the cloth of our union. It creates a platform not only for our DGs to voice their concerns and also their talents, but also for our BCAT students. Now, what I have in store for USU is a fusion with our current UTEC radio. Currently, USU lacks the proper equipment to execute their daily activities. We have to be streaming online as we do not have our own bandwidth. Now, I intend to lobby for a fusion as UTEC's radio is currently off air. This fusion, if accomplished, will see USU stronger than before with their own studio, their own equipment and bandwidth. During my tenure, I, along with my committee, will also implement new programs. Now, some of these programs will include outside broadcasts, the incorporation of our off-campus sites as well, Slipen Road, Montego Bay, as well as Arthur Wing Drive. As our union is not only for the main campus, our union is for all campuses. Now, continuing, knowledge is a powerful tool. Hence, during my tenure, I'll be officially launching and implementing the Know Your Rights campaign. I am sure many of you have seen the posters around informing you of your viewers' rights. If you have not, never fear, it will continue. Now, as students here, you have a right to know your right. Many students, unfortunately, do not read the handbook. Now, it is my intention to take what is in the handbook and place it in a format where we all can understand it. We plan to paste it on 
flyers, posters, handouts. Also, we'll be including these in mass meetings as well for you, the student, to understand. As members of our organizations, organization, you, the students, have a right to all information that can be published. And I use this word, can, very loosely. Our student union newsletter is an important part of this equation. Through my leadership, we can establish a reputable newsletter, one which will publish all happenings on all campuses, including Montego Bay, Slipen Road, and also in Japan. This newsletter will be inclusive of special features on our clubs and societies. It will also publicize the opening of scholarships, bursaries, and grants, which are vital to the continuing studies of our students. The title of the newsletter is The Union. Can I hear everybody say The Union? Say The Union. Yes. This will be championed, as this will be the title of our newsletter. The newsletter will go out once every month. It will be circulated once every month to all students. There will also be an internet version of this newsletter as well. The key to, the key to a strong union is unity, as the word says. Presently, our off-campus sites are not informed of activities within our union. Under my leadership, we can change this. It is my intention to emissaries to ensure that all information will be passed on to students in these various campuses. A YouTube channel will also be created where students can watch highlights of our major events. If they are unable, by some chance, not to be at these events. Also, the outside broadcasting and US, also for the outside broadcasting, sorry, and USU radio, as well as the circulation of the union, we can rest assured that whether you are on the main campus or you are on the outside campuses, you will know what is going on. Being committed to transparency, as my friend would say, the wind of transparency. If victorious in this current election, a part of my mandate would be the gazetting of UTEC Student Union income and expenditure. For this, I will work in tandem with my VP Finance, whoever that will be. Now, this information will be published namely on our Twitter account, Facebook, as well as our newsletter that will go out, the union, as well as on a new program, USU News, which should come on stream early in my tenure. Now, leadership is simply the capacity to translate vision into reality. I have a vision for our union. I have a vision that I'm not sure that you can see, but I intend to share it with you. And I welcome input as well as correction. Now, let us unite and set mind to purpose as we together build a union, a union like none other, a union that will be spoken of years to come. Let it be said, students, that you made the right choice, the better choice, the proper choice, the choice of keys for Vice President Public Relations. Thank you, Mr. Gates. I now invite Lloyd Crookshank. We will ask both of them questions simultaneously.